So a very good morning to everybody and thank you for joining us for our webinar on higher education here at the Chichester College Group. So just to let you know, we are recording today's webinar so that if you want to rewatch any aspect of uh, this webinar, you can do at your leisure and we will post you out a link uh, shortly after today's session for you on that. Um, we are going to start off uh, with a quick poll uh, just to gauge what um, people uh, are expecting for HE today. So a poll should appear on your device very shortly. So what we're asking you to do, uh, two questions. What are you hoping to find out today? And which of the following best describes you? So you should be able to click on one of those options there and um, we will be able to collate your responses. So we'll just give you 30 seconds just to pick those uh, question uh, those boxes and we will slow uh, we will release those um, answers back to everybody so one of my colleagues will be shortly revealing those results so we'll close the poll now and uh, reveal to you all what people are here for so Majority of people are here for all of the above. So they want to find out why um, you should study university level courses, types of qualifications that we offer as a college group, what subjects you can study and what financial support. So the good news is all of those topics have been included in today's presentation. And the majority of people by looks of it are current students of the Chichester College Group. So fantastic. So that's great. So uh, an introduction for me. My name is Paul Rolf. I'm the group director responsible for sales, marketing and commercial across the group. So I'll be giving an introduction uh, this morning and then I'll be handing over to Leanne, which who is our higher education guru. So she'll be talking us through the, press, uh, the different programs and qualifications that we have to offer. And then I'll be ha uh, Leanne will be handing over to some colleagues to talk to you about support and finance arrangements and most importantly, how to apply. So moving on, uh, well, there's another piece of information I need to give you is that uh, we do have Q&A running today. So down there somewhere is a Q&A box. So um, if you have any questions you want to ask, we have people behind the scenes answering those questions live. And just remember, there is no such thing as a stupid question. I ask them regularly, as my team will tell you. So if you've got any questions whatsoever, pop them in those boxes um, at any time and somebody uh, from my amazing team will be answering those for you this morning. So, okay, on to my first slide. So for those people joining us today who don't know much about the Chichester College Group, very briefly, we are a collection of five colleges um, across West Sussex, um, Chichester College, um, very obviously in Chichester, Brinsbury College, which is our beautiful agricultural college based in Pulborough. So that's 500 acres of beautiful countryside where we do horticulture and animal management studies. We have Crawley College. We also have Worthing College and Worthing College is very well known for its sport. And we've got a very exciting higher education provision in sport at Worthing. And new to our family and opening in September is Haywards Heath College. So why would you want to study higher education? So we've outlined some reasons why we think higher education is a really great thing to study. So the first reason is increasing your earning potential. So um, looking at some uh, statistics and some information that uh, I've managed to find, um, on average, graduate employees manage to get an extra 20 to 30% on top of their salary um, for those that don't have a higher education qualification. So again, it's 20 to 30% higher salaries than those people that don't. And on average, uh, over the lifetime, that's £34,000 a year, as opposed to £25,000 a year. So there's a great reason to start with that your earning potential is going to be significantly higher. The next reason, and obviously this is very obvious, is that you will increase your knowledge. So by attending a higher education programme, you will drill down into a much greater depth to a subject in greater detail. You'll learn more sophisticated models, 
you'll have um, a, a more detailed understanding of different concepts. So your knowledge of an area will increase dramatically. Um, the third reason is improving your employment prospects. Now, uh, pre-coronavirus, uh, and we're seeing lots of evidence that even post-coronavirus, companies are wanting to employ people with those higher level skills. So if you go and have a little look on the job market, those job boards today, um, a lot of those jobs are requiring you to have those higher education qualifications. So to be able to access and so unlock those, uh, those jobs for yourself, you will need to be able to get a higher education qualification. You will also develop essential life skills. So I did a degree and I also did a master's and I learned so much from the people on my course. I also learned things about communication skills, uh, presentation skills. I learned a lot of, of other life skills that have helped me through my jobs, my career, and actually through my personal life as well. So university is a lot more than just the qualification that you are enrolling for. You will also gain internationally recognized qualifications. And that is really, really important for anyone that's thinking about studying abroad. So if you think, oh, sorry, uh, living or moving abroad. So if you have an aspiration maybe later on in life to move to America or New Zealand or somewhere like that, all of those qualifications that we offer are internationally recognized. And I'll give you a couple of examples. So our HNCs and HNDs are all accredited by Pearson and our top ups and foundation degrees are all accredited by universities. And Leanne will tell you more details of that when she comes on to talk. And finally, enjoyment. Higher education is great fun. You'll learn, uh, you'll, you'll meet some amazing people, friends for life, and you'll have a great experience in doing so. So you'll have you know, absolute blast in studying higher education with us. So why would you choose the Chichester College Group? Obviously there's loads of universities, there's loads of other training providers offering higher education. What might make you want to study with us rather than anybody else? Well, I'm gonna outline some reasons with you. So first of all, and something we're absolutely proud of is our outstanding teacher satisfaction. So in uh, 2019, our current students all completed the National Student Survey and 91.3% all said that our teaching was outstanding. So where does this place us? Well, actually this places us as number one in West Sussex and the surrounding areas for our teaching satisfaction. So again, the students that attend our programs really enjoy those programs and they're really happy with the quality of our teaching. So if you look in West Sussex and surrounding areas, some of those other universities, we've actually got a higher teacher satisfaction than them. So that's a really great reason to consider putting an application into us. We also have industry experience lecturers. So what does that mean? So we, we recruit industry professionals who have all the qualifications, but they also have the added experience of working in the workplace. So they can bring those real world experiences into their teaching. So you can understand what the companies they work for, what, uh, how they apply different topics, how they apply those different models that gives you a much richer, exciting and rounded teaching experience. We also have amazing links with industry. So we work with about one and a half thousand different companies each year. Everything from companies such as Rolls-Royce, uh, NHS Trust, the local councils, um, Mighty the construction company, a whole raft of companies we have links with. That gives us lots of opportunities to give students placements, to have master classes, and we also have employers that come on board and actually help us form our qualifications for you. And that's really, really important, making sure that our qualifications that we deliver are what local employers want. So, um, you know, that, that, you know, we want to make sure that, that you, you are going to be highly marketable and desirable at the end of your qualification. We also have excellent graduate outcomes. So 96% of those students that have progressed with us through qualifications have gained employment. And also those students that have had 
um, employment have gone on to a much higher or a better job than what I had previously. So that's a staggering 96%. And I think everyone would probably agree that's a pretty fabulous statistic. So you can be guaranteed that from doing higher education with us, your chances of getting a job or moving to a higher job are very, very high. We are also TEF Silver. So TEF is the equivalent for higher education as Ofsted is for 16 to 19. So in case you haven't heard, our Ofsted recently came out and we, we are grade one outstanding in all areas, but we're also TEF Silver for our higher education. So we go through a really rigorous process with external people coming in, uh, scrutinizing our teaching and learning. And as a result of that, the Office of Students awarded us with silver. So that's, that makes it as consummate to the University of Chichester and the University of Sussex, who are also TEF silver as well. So some more reasons to uh, choose Chichester College Group. We have outstanding support and guidance. I'm not gonna talk too much about that because there is a slide on that, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I've also got colleagues on the webinar who are talking more about that one. So we'll just part that on for a second. Um, lower costs. So uh, if you've had a look at our uh, foundation degrees, our top ups, our HNCs, uh, we are much more cost effective um, than going to university. So for those people really conscious, particularly during these, these coronavirus times about having to spend lots of money, getting lots of debt, we are significantly more cost effective than going to university. So those students are thinking, do you know what? This is sounding really, really good, but I really want to have that university vibe. We also have halls of residence as well. So anybody looking to move out from their parents and wants to have that experience, we do have uh, South catered halls of residences, which you can move in, uh, move into. So we can provide you more information if that is an option that you are interested in. Uh, you also have smaller class sizes with us, which is a massive advantage. You're not a kind of distant person in the back of a large lecture theater, kind of trying to get some help or assistance. You're in a group of around you know, less than 20 students. You're getting that focused support, that attention that is gonna make you succeed in your qualifications. So it's really, really important to note that we have a much smaller class size where you get that attention. You will also get more contact hours and individual support. So you will have that individual contact with your lecturers um, who will be able to support you with your program. I will just move to the next one. So career focused. So again, as I mentioned, um, we work heavily with employee groups to make sure that our programs are suited to the local needs. So uh, we spend a lot of time crafting these qualifications to be very, very much career focused, which is evidence in that 96% um, employment rate, which our students go on to. So I think there's really strong evidence there that you know, coming onto higher education isn't gonna be time or money wasted. You can also progress at your own pace. So what, what does that mean? So you can come and study a HNC with us as, as your first step, which could be one or two years. You could then decide, do you know what? Something's happened in my life. I need to pause carrying on. Um, or you can carry on straight away onto a HND. So you've got that flexibility to put down and pick up uh, your higher education journey as you want to. Um, after you've done your HND, you can then choose to then do a top up, uh, which will give you a university certificate, or you can choose to pause your learning for a, a year or two. Again, if something happens in your in your life that you need to do that. Leanne will talk a little bit more about that. And she's got a fab diagram that probably illustrates it better than I can put across. We also have a really, really active students union. Uh, they've won loads of awards. Uh, I cannot even begin to tell you the enthusiasm for those students that are currently with us. You probably have experienced this for yourself. So our students union is really, really active. Uh, there's loads of trips to get involved in. I know students have gone off to America to do study tours. I know we've got a really fabulous African trip that we do, uh, but there's a whole host of things, sports activities, LGBT groups, uh, creative groups, loads of things, really vibrant students union at the college, which as a higher education student, you will be part of. 
also, most importantly, as a higher education student, you can still be eligible for a Students' Union Totem Card, where you get your fab discounts on the high street and online. So I promised a slide on outstanding support. Um, we have absolutely uh, uh, outstanding range of professionals who are really um, helping students with their program. So you'll have one-to-one -one tutor support. That's one-to-one -one time with a tutor who can help you with your program. So they can help you with anything from a concept you don't understand. They can help you with academic writing. They can help you with referencing all manner of things that those, those, those tutors are there to support you with. We also have a, a FAB Progressions Plus team and Progressions Plus are there to help you with your next step. So they could be helping with crafting CVs, they could be helping with interview skills, they could be helping you to apply for jobs, or they could be there to help you apply for further study. So at the end of your higher education journey with us, you think, do you know what, I want to go and do a, a master's, Absolutely, you can go and do a master's after us and they can help you with all those personal statements and things. Uh, we've also got a great uh, learning resources uh, team. So we've got libraries across all of our campuses with experts that can help you find uh, resources you need for your assignments. They again can help you with academic writing and referencing. Um, and we also have loads of open access computers. So if you don't have your own computer, you can go and log on to one of our open access computers to learn from. And then finally, we've got a finance team that can help you uh, pre your application, help you get that finance package absolutely right for you. But they're also there to help you should something happen or change during your programme. Maybe child care becomes an issue, maybe um, something else changes in your life. The finance team are second to know with their knowledge and skills of all the finance packages available. So that's the end of my first part, and I'm going to hand over to the lovely Anne, who, Leanne, who's going to talk more about those programmes in detail. Oh, thank you, Paul. Um, as Paul mentioned, my name's Leanne. I'm part of the college's higher, higher education profession team, and I'm going to be explaining the different types of qualification we offer, and I'll also highlight the variety of courses we offer at each campus. So to start with, I just wanted to explain in a little bit more detail the types of qualification that we do offer. So our university level qualifications give you so much more flexibility as you don't have to commit to a three year programme. You can study in stages to fit in with your own life. Higher national certificates are our level four qualification. These are equivalent to the first year of a degree. And our higher national diplomas are level five and these are equivalent to a level I, sorry, these are equivalent to the second year of a degree. HNCs and HNDs, as Paul mentioned, are industry specific. These are designed to prepare you for a career. These are very, very popular because they are work related and they're really highly regarded by companies throughout the world. When you've finished, you'll be in the ideal position to either move straight into a job or to top up your qualification and then study for one more year to gain a full degree. Our foundation degrees are level five, and these are equivalent to two thirds of a degree. These are perfect if you work and you want to gain qualification that builds on your own experiences and skills. These will also help you progress in your own career. The great thing about these is they can be studied both full and part time, and you can fit them around your own work commitments. We also have four different top up degrees, and these are equivalent to the final year of a degree. As the name suggests, you can top up an exist, existing level five qualification, like a HND or foundation degree, to a full degree. We do work in partnership with Portsmouth, Chichester and Solent University to offer our foundation degrees and top ups. Um, one of the good things about this is you not only have access to all of our extensive facilities, you can access the university's resources and facilities too. As you can see from the slide, our course fees are traditionally a lot cheaper than they would be at university. Our full-time foundation degrees are £5,500 per year. Our full-time HNDs are £6,500 and our top-ups start from £8,000. I'm now going to go through each of the campuses 
just to give you a feel of the types of courses we offer there. There's lots more information online. Um, so this will just give you a flavour of what we offer. So I'll start with Brinsbury. Brinsbury is the highest performing land-based college in the South for achievement in agriculture, horticulture and also animal care. And we offer four different courses here. If you see yourself working as a zookeeper or in animal conservation, our animal management course could be for you. Last year, the students were fortunate enough to go to Botswana to view game and learn all about conservation. If you want a career in plant science, garden design or crop production, our horticulture and food production courses may also interest you. We're really excited this year to be launching a brand new foundation degree in sustainable food production. This is a really unique course and it's been developed by our expert staff in partnership with the University of Chichester. And one of the strong points of this program is you'll get to do a 10 week work based project in a food production business. Also, in response to feedback from furniture manufacturing industries, we're developing a brand new bespoke course, which will ensure that you have the skills that are vital within this particular sector. So in our Chichester campus, we offer a really diverse range of courses. If you decided that business management interests you, we offer both full and part-time courses that can help you gain a degree. There is a national skills shortage within the STEM industries and people with level four and level five qualifications are in great demand. We have courses that will help you develop your career in engineering, computing, and even construction management. We're really excited again to be working with the University of Chichester to develop some brand new bespoke courses that will explore future innovations and technologies. If you see yourself working in film, radio, TV, or even animation, we offer art and design and multimedia courses right up to degree level. With these courses, you'll work with real clients to develop your knowledge and skills. Students have had the pleasure of working with large companies such as the BBC, Channel 5 and even The Telegraph. If you see acting as your passion, our intensive acting course is designed to prepare you for a career within performing arts and you'll even have the opportunity to perform at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. If you want to study dance at degree level and gain an internationally recognised dance teaching qualification, our foundation degree with 100% progression could be ideal for you. You are taught by uniquely qualified university and college staff and part of the programme also includes you gaining the ISTD Diploma in Dance Education. If you decide you want to travel the world and explore new adventures, then our hospitality, travel and tourism courses may help you fulfil your dreams. One of the great things about these programmes is you gain essential work experience as well. And you also study subjects including global events, marketing and leadership. Our Crawley campus has some of the best facilities in the region for studying IT, creative media and engineering and we're really excited because these are going to get even better. There's a new multi-million pound STEM centre set to open next year. This will host teaching and interactive spaces that are designed to train you in advanced technology. As you can see from the list, we offer a really wide range of engineering, computing, media and construction courses and you'll also benefit from the faster range of excellent links we have with some of the largest employers in the southeast and beyond. If you can see yourself working in early years, then the foundation degree and BA will extend your knowledge and professional practice. They will allow you to progress within the early years sector as a leader or even a manager. However, some students have also moved on to family liaison officer roles within social work teams or now teaching schools. Some have even extended their studies by taking a master's in social work course. Both of these courses have 100% success rates. Our business course will allow you to develop a broad range of skills that are required in a variety of industries and you'll also be taught by industry professionals. Subjects will include accounting, marketing, management and law. 
Worthing is our final campus that we cover HE on and they have an excellent reputation and an extremely successful sports programme. They work in partnership with the University of Chichester to offer a foundation degree in sports, health and exercise science. In addition to your foundation degree, you'll also gain two personal trainer qualifications at level two and level three. You'll also have the opportunity to work on a placement linked to the college's academic, sorry, academy of sports program. You'll also have the amazing opportunity to progress in your final year if you choose to join the third year of the sports degree at the university. But the key thing is here, you get to pick a specialised area of your choice. Full details of all of these courses are available on our website and on UCAS. And if you have any particular questions about a particular course, please pop them in the Q&A. Paul will also explain at the end how you can contact us directly if you do want to find out any more information about any of these programmes. I'll now hand over to my colleague Emma, who will explain all things student finance. Thanks very much, Leanne. And hello to everyone attending today's session. My name is Emma and in partnership with the Chichester, uh, Chichester College Group, I deliver impartial information, advice and guidance on higher education via the Office for Students Uni Connect programme. Today, I am going to provide a short overview of the financial support that is available for higher education studies. I am available at the end of the presentation to take any further questions that you may have. In summary, there are two types of loan that you may be eligible to receive via Student Finance England. First is a tuition fee loan, which covers the full fees charged by your college or university. For courses starting in September 2020, so this September coming, this is up to £9,250. As Paul mentioned earlier, Chichester College Group tuition fees are typically lower than this. Second is a maintenance loan, and this covers your living costs, so um, rent, bills, food, for example. If you're studying outside of London, for example, with the Chichester College Group, the maximum maintenance loan that you can receive for courses starting this September is £9,203. The Student Finance Calculator on the Gulf.uk website is a really useful tool. It can help you estimate how much you may be entitled to receive depending on all of your personal circumstances. Student Finance applications take about 30 minutes to complete and you can do this right now after the session if you want to. Um, please note that you don't need to have received or accepted any offers to apply. Student Finance England actually recommend that you apply as soon as possible, as soon as you're thinking about becoming a higher education student. And this is to help um, avoid any potential delays. Now, alongside student loans, depending on your personal circumstances, you may be eligible to receive additional finances to support your higher education studies. For example, Student Finance England offer a number of grants and allowances. These include disability students' allowance to support with the extra costs associated with a long-term illness, a mental health condition, or a learning support need, for example, dyslexia, and dependence grants to cover some of the costs associated with caring for children or adults that you are financially responsible for. You can apply for these grants and allowances as part of your main application with Student Finance England. In addition to this, colleges, universities and other charitable organisations can offer scholarships and bursaries. You can find loads of these, check whether you meet the eligibility criteria and apply via the Scholarship Hub website. And I've included a little logo on the slide there. It's called the Scholarship Hub. You can just Google it. Unlike student loans, all of these additional sources of finance that I have just outlined typically do not need to be paid back, but do, of course, always check the terms and conditions when you are applying. If you require help with completing your student finance application, the best people to speak to are Student Finance England, and you could call them directly um, using the number on the slide. Having said this, as mentioned at the beginning, I am available at the end of the presentation um, to help with any questions where I can. 
So I will now hand over to Paul, who will deliver the last part of today's session before we open to questions. Thanks, Emma. That was really, really insightful. Um, I think the final thing we really want to say um, is that at the end of your higher education journey with us um, is graduation. And we have an amazing graduation event um, every year housed at the um, Chichester Cathedral. So everyone that takes part in one of our higher education programmes has the opportunity to don the hat and the gown and to attend this fabulous event to celebrate the success and all those achievements. So that is the end of our formal webinar for this morning. Um, I'm just going to got another slide to show you with some next steps before we move on to some questions. So could, you, you may want to have a one-to-one -one discussion with a member of the team. So there's a link uh, on the screen there, which if you take a photograph with your camera or scribble it down now, or uh, again, this webinar will be sent back to you, so you'll be able to pull it up. So you can actually register there for a one-to-one -one discussion. Someone from the team will contact you. Um, you may be in the position where you thought, you know what, absolutely, I'm going to apply to the Teachers College Group. It's a great opportunity. Well, there's the link there on how you can go onto UCAS to apply. Uh, but for those people, again, that maybe want to go away and reflect a little bit, and again, remember, there are no such things as stupid questions. There's an email address there, he at chichester.ac.uk, and that address is for all of our provision, be it Crawley, Brinsbury, Worthing. So that's the one email address to um, contact us on. So um, that is the end of, of, of our presentation for this morning. Do, do we have any questions that have popped up that need answering? Oh, there's a couple of things I just need to mention. First of all, are you too late to apply? Absolutely not. You can apply up until uh, mid uh, end of September. So there's plenty of time, but we do urge people to apply. There's no um, upper age limit uh, to apply for higher education. So, um, you know, if you're later on in life like me, um, you're thinking, oh, I want to go back to higher education, you can absolutely come and study with us. And we have many, many mature learners with us. Um, so, yes. And, and have we got any questions that have come through any, anybody that we need to answer or anybody want to clarify anything for those people attending today? Um, hi, oh, I think uh, Rachel. Hi, um, so I'm Rachel, I'm part of the Progression Plus team for Chichester and um, I think Paul those questions that you've just answered actually have been our most common questions about the application, am I too old to apply and absolutely you're not. Um, another common question we've had that's cropped up actually, it might be a good one for you Leanne, is about the personal statement. Um, so do we need a personal statement in order to submit an application? You do need a personal statement, but you can make an application if you apply directly to the college and then we will request the personal statement along that kind of application process. So again, we can offer lots and lots of support with this. So don't be sat there at home thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know where to start. Please contact us. You can use the HE at Chichester email or if you're one of our current students, there's lots and lots and lots of resources available on CCG online. Or again, like I said, one of us can definitely contact you and support you with this. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And what about if um, people have already made applications to university, can they still apply to us? Yes, they can. So even if you've made an application to other universities, you can apply directly to us. If you've made applications using the UCAS system and you have some spaces left in the number of applications you can make, you can add us or again, you can contact us directly and we can definitely support you with that. I think Leanne and Rachel, we have quite a lot of comments and questions about that because obviously a lot of people are concerned post-coronavirus about you know, potentially moving Sheffield, Manchester are further afield. So yes, absolutely, you can now apply to stay local and go further with us uh, through our higher education programmes. 